Well, hi everybody, and welcome back to another round of Fee Farm. And so, what's happened since the last time I made a video? Well, it's almost time for the Petal Bloom Festival, where you know a lot of flowers are supposed to happen. Uh, I had I have grown quite a bit of flowers. Uh, I'm just kind of holding on to them for now because I don't know if I'm going to actually use them or not. And um, I also reached level 25 of the salt mines. So I'm actually going to get ahead there and turn in that quest. Uh, there's a couple of things that you are going to need, which I'm going to go over kind of like where to uh, get those just to kind of, I guess, make things easier for you. Uh, because at first I didn't know where to look for things, so once you find it, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, but for your quest, you will have a couple of things um, that you have to do. You have to get your five steam fish. The steam fish come from fish fillets, and then you cook them uh, in your stove area, which is um, this building here, and it looks like this. So you need a total of five fish fillets, and then you need a total of ten fresh greens. The fresh greens are from your um, fresh greens are from the arugula. You will also need 20 roots, which you can get from dicing up your root vegetables, which I use turnips because they grow quickly and they were just kind of easy to get. Sardines, you're also going to need. You'll fish those down by Eddie's. I'll run down there and just kind of point out what they look like and where they are. Sand dollars, they look like sand dollars. And coral looks like coral. It's on the beach. Um, so I'm going to run to town. I got a quest to turn in because I finally got my comfort level in my house up to what it needed to be. Um, I still have not been able to make a pink flower. I... I've tried alternating the flowers that the, they're like red, white, red, white, red, white. Um, I just have not been able to grow them. So I'm not real sure what I'm doing wrong. I will probably just have to create some new areas to grow flowers. Flowers just weren't really something I was going to grow. Uh, because, I mean, I'm just not really into, you know, growing flowers and games, cause, unless it's for decoration, because I don't really know how much cash I'm going to get out of it. Uh, usually not enough to, that matters. I also found out that uh, they have a Mass Effect 2 style romance system. Uh, this is Argyle. I don't talk to Argyle anymore, because Argyle thinks I'm flirting with him, which I am decidedly not doing, uh, but the game just treats it as the more you talk to romanceable characters... Uh, <laughs> That's literally all you have to do to basically start the romance path. Uh, so I just come here. This is the most interaction I'll have with them. Uh, sometimes I'll chat just because I'm trying to be a nice person. But then if I go to my relationships, it shows that I'm flirting with Argyle. But I'm not. I don't like Argyle. I'm, I'm holding out for Pyria. Or, or even Pepper, but I haven't seen either of these two. I'm assuming they unlock later on in the game. But I guess we'll see. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're playing. If you talk to the characters uh, that are romanceable, just talking to, to them is going to make them, uh, you know, start to feel like you're flirting with them. So anyway, so the three sardines that you have to catch. The sardines you can actually catch right around this area. Uh, they are identified as this thinner fish. Let's see if I can catch it. Come on, fish. There we go. Take the bait. You know you want to. So I did upgrade my fishing pole to the first available upgrade. I don't really see any benefit to it. Like, there's no upgrades at least not yet. It uh, just kind of feels the same. Um, but that's what your sardine looks like. And there are several sardines that are always running around. You can catch them every day. Uh, so those are probably some of the easiest things to catch. 
for finishing the quest. And, yeah, like I said, for the fish fillets, um, you can catch any fish. Certain fish, like rainbow, trout, uh, sole, those are going to give you... See, there he goes again. Look, I'm talking to a guy, and uh, <laughs> we're flirting, but we're not... It just... So that's kind of like a disappointing aspect of the game. It definitely shows that the... Uh, the romance portion of the game is is not very deep, um, and it kind of makes me not want to talk to people anymore because I don't really know what happens if, like, the way the conversation works. Am I going to get to the point where it's just uh, suddenly we're dating and I don't really get a chance to say I don't want to date you, dude? I hope I'm trying to date a, a lady, but I, I don't know exactly how the game's going to do it. So I guess we'll find out. But it is silly, and I'm sure it's going to... You know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people... Well, actually, they're probably not people who are going to play the game anyway, but there's going to be people, I'm sure, who throw a fit and make a big stink about it and say, like, this is terrible. Um, I don't really think it's a big deal. I just think it's silly, and I do wish uh, that it was a little bit more in-depth. So this is the creature you run into at the end... of the floor for level 25 of the dungeon and she requests that you bring a whole bunch of items the nice thing is you do not have to do it all at once uh, you can come back throughout your adventures to give her everything that she wants and they're very happy Alright, you're back. I smell all my ingredients. This is going to be so fun! Even more fun than swirling around in a whirlpool. I'm going to start preparing the feast. Come back tomorrow and we'll have a little picnic. <laughs> then we'll deal with those whirlpools. I just can't wait. Alright, well I feel like I kind of messed up because tomorrow is also the, um... Like the, the, like the festival going on, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to do both. I feel like I might have really kind of made a mistake. I've also found a pretty decent way to make a considerable amount of money, relatively easy, and that is to come through, collect the gems, go back. Uh, you do have to build um, the little gym tool. Um, at your farmstead, but that's not really a big deal. But once you build that, you can then take all the gems that you find, um, and you can basically kind of combine them into better gems, and then you can sell them, and they sell for a pretty good price. Um, I think the blue ones, uh, the aquamarine, I think they sell for over a hundred. Actually, I think all of the gems sell for at least, at least a hundred. And they're pretty quick to be created, so it's not super difficult. So I highly recommend it. Uh, just do it that way. I also would recommend, once you get to the point where you can start upgrading all of your tools to iron, just do it. It feels like at first that you're going to just wait and just do the things that you you know that you use all the time, like the pickaxe, the um, the axe. That guy just disappeared. But I assure you it's totally worth it because you're going to get more stuff and take less stamina to, you know, do things like digging. And one of the nice things is, if you have an overabundance of clay, and you're like, oh, I don't really need this clay. You have the benefit of turning it into bricks. And selling it. It doesn't make you a lot of money, but it makes you enough money to make it kind of worth... Worth your while. I'm 
just trying to get a little bit more of the crystals so that I can, or the gems, so I can take those back and, uh, you know, turn them into some cash. There's one thing that I really have not made much of is cash. Uh, and it's mostly because I've been hoarding everything. I don't sell anything, I just hoard it because I don't know when I'm going to going to use it and I feel like I'd rather kind of have it with me than you know have to go back and get it later because one thing I've found is as you play and you unlock things you start to get these little quests to actually uh, you know build or craft a, sp a specific thing and if you don't have it then you have to go find it so it's just easier uh, at this point to just keep Hoarding everything, and then uh, know exactly what I need and what I don't need. Like so far, Topaz making it into like the the more refined gems, those are the ones that probably bring me the most amount of cash. I have also unlocked all of the way shrines that are currently available, so I can kind of get around everywhere uh, relatively quick. I can't go for whatever is up there at the top because I need a path. But I guess we'll find out eventually kind of what it is. But yeah, I really have not seen, like I said, I got a new fishing, a new fishing pole, uh, but I really haven't seen, like, much, in, much of a difference. It still feels very much the same. I feel like maybe when the fish isn't actively trying to get away, it generate, you know, it's it doesn't go red as quickly, but overall, it's, it really feels about the same. Still really enjoy fishing, so it's it, it's not a big deal to me. I do wish that there was a little bit more noticeable increase in the ability of your fishing rod, and I have been, you know, doing I don't know a decent amount of fishing, I guess. I haven't really caught anything that I would consider potentially a. Uh, Like a special fish other than this uh, soul and I've been holding on to it just because I don't see it very often and honestly I've been kind of trying to keep at least one of each fish uh, just because I don't know if it's going to become something that I need or not I also really haven't been selling my beans. Yeah, so these sell for quite a bit. So they're really nice to have. What is this? This is fodder. Uh, I have that to feed my animals. I grew some grass. Let's see. I'm not sure exactly what I want to. What I want to what I want to sell. Because they have all these flowers, but they're basically not really worth a whole lot. Uh, I do like that I have this here with my produce stand, so I can just kind of sell some stuff. Makes life pretty easy to just kind of come out here every day, uh, drop some things in there and sell it. Like 644 gold, or florins. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I need 8,000 um, to upgrade... my um, like I'm just I'm just gonna make all those things because I need 8,000 gold in order to upgrade my backpack again and that's kind of like my next goal in the game aside from obviously doing whatever it is that I need to do for quests
Alright, well now I have a spell will. What is a vortex? I think I'll have to do that outside of the house. Alright, I thought I was afraid that it might interfere with my ability to, um... complete the the harvest festival or not the harvest festival but whatever festival is that is happening today but it looks like it doesn't matter um, it does, it's not going to affect it so that's nice I was a little bit concerned there and I've got two creatures I got Sharktopus my little cool little Cottontail, and of course mm. Walrus is still doing fine laying eggs and everything. Um, I do need to upgrade this so that I can actually kind of have food uh, stored for up to 10 days because I'm, it's, I'm not really wanting to have to go in here and put stuff in it every single day. Um, it's just kind of, kind of like a weird choice. Like I don't really see why... Uh, that's a thing. I'm just gonna take all of the flowers. I don't know if I'm gonna use any of these for anything. But, um, it is like a flower festival of sorts, so perhaps flowers are important. make a lot of cash which is super nice all right you can put away my food here I don't want to take any of this with me because I don't need to all right that one talk to Alaric all right we'll do that first he should be pretty happy so with the grass, you can actually uh, cut it. He's giving me a new quest. Uh, let's see, I started a DIY project with random materials. Would you be able to collect some for me? Uh, oak log to drag. That's actually going to be really simple. So I have been running around still talking to everybody and trying to get new quests, but it just hasn't really seemed to be a lot of them. It feels like quests might be kind of tied to progression in the game. And so... But now that I'm friends with them, it looks like I also have a friend quest. I saw everything! Was that a real sprite? Did you learn a new spell? Tell me everything. Nepi was making the whirlpools for fun, huh? Tell me about her new spell. Or your new spell, whatever. Nepi infused their magic into your magical staff. That's the coolest thing I've ever heard. Wow. I could be wrong, but I think this is the Vortex spell. I've never actually used it from my, used it myself, so I'm not exactly sure what it can do. You should practice using the Vortex spell. My good friend, Drac. I might be able to help you, but you can probably figure it out on your own. Try out your new Vortex spell. I bet it could be used to clear some of the weird shade that's hanging around. Alright. I know exactly where to go for some of those. And a copper ingot. Alright, that's a pretty easy quest. So I did find that you don't have to actually chat with anybody, you just walk up to them and kind of initiate the conversation up to this point, and you just leave instead of talking, and you still get credit for talking to them. Uh, so if you want to kind of work on building up your, you know, friendship level with them, that's really all you have to do. Oh, Pepper is new. Pepper is the first person um, to finally get here. Give a gift of fruit preserves. Well, I don't have anything like that because I haven't made any of those. I hope it's not going to turn out that I need some of some of these for something uh, anytime soon. So, oh, 
I missed it. Oh, well, okay, so, well, never mind. I was wrong. I th thought... Oh, never mind. It's the 27th. The 28th is the Petal Bloom Festival. Um, so, I'm good on that aspect. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, let's see. It says something about the shipping now that I can do that. Because the whirlpools are gone. It's the first time I've actually seen any quests here for this. Uh, some of these contracts could be beneficial, but some of these, it's definitely not. But I definitely have these that I could do, but the cash isn't really kind of worth it for me, but... Um, eh, I'm going to do it, though. We'll, we'll take the 25 copper ore. I'll go take care of that real quick. Uh, and then find a spot to cast my vortex spell. Which I know where those are, but I'm just going to get my copper ore first. And yeah, my farm still, I haven't made it into anything that makes sense. Uh, everything's just kind of lined up. I'm getting there slowly but surely. I mean, like, I've started to, you know, do, like, my farming plot, which, which is at least kind of a degree of progress. Uh, what was the other quest for this other guy? Oh. Did I not take it? That quest seems to be... Oh, it's a friend quest, that's why. Uh, ten oak logs and one copper ingot. I wish it would tell you what these are. One copper ingot. I think these are beach logs. Alright, an oak log. Ten oak logs, which I can get from the trees. But I wish when you go in there to look at it, you could see what it was instead of trying to go into your almanac to figure it out. Uh, because that's just kind of like a lot of extra steps. It's kind of silly. the vortex spell you have to have you have to have in order to bring up that window to do that you have to have your your magic staff out which I guess you know that makes sense if I'm gonna do like a magical spell I should have my magic staff out Fine. All right, Who, where is Drac? Drac, Drac, Drac. I want to do his first. I right, should have the ten of those. I've been foraging a lot. I had like so many huckleberries, and it's weird because I don't. Like, I've picked huckleberries. Huckleberries are not... Like, they're not... They're not red. <laughs> they're blue. Um, I don't know, so I think it's kind of funny that... They've made them red in this game. Wait, show oak log. Do I not have oak logs? Oak log. I 
Okay, so you have to give it to him. Alright. Wasn't expecting that was, like, how you had to do it. And next up is... Well, next up is really just Alaric. I still can't do this because I don't know how to produce the pink flower. I feel like it's... I, I know that I'm doing it... Or I should be doing it correctly. I just haven't been able to get it to work right. Pepper seems nice, but I only want to go after one lady as opposed to multiple ladies. So he's got this. Oh, it just goes directly into the other quest. Alright, Eddie's looking for me. Oh. Alright. Oh, we're gonna get 2,000 gold. Oh, actually, no. It is a story quest. Oh, no. Disregard. There's a frame friend request. Or friend quest? What is it? Okay, I don't know what happened there. I feel like... I feel like that did, like, a lot of quests that uh, didn't quite make sense. This is, yep, this is where you turn them in. So that's some extra cash. I feel like I'm making some decent kind of headway for my cash. I can't believe you did it. brings a tear to this old sailor's eye. I might even be ready to buy a new boat to live on. Oh, chapter 3 is now complete. My rancher life, that was a long time ago. There's nothing wrong with farming and raising animals. I just fell in love with the sea. It's a shame that all the all that land is just sitting empty. That weird shade set in as soon as I left. Hmm. You've shown yourself to be a capable farmer, fisher, and friend. I'd be honored if you would take over my ranch. Now, I know it's not much, but there's a barn, so it's ready for mammoths and woolly horns. It would make me so happy to know that this place is going to see some life again. I received a new house. I don't really want a new house. Like, I mean, what do you want me to do with, like, multiple houses? Alright, well, since the... Whirlpools are gone... It's a good time to, like, kind of explore a little bit. Booey. Oh, what is this? Is a new type of fish. Well, it's a squid. Which I have not caught before. I'm not seeing a way to get up here, though. Oh, an eel as well? Can I just grab it? Yeah, I think... Well, whatever it is to get up there, I'm going to have to require this... Uh, to break, which it looks like I'm probably going to need some kind of fire spell. I feel like there's still, like, a limited area that you can actually go, but uh, getting rid of the whirlpools... I just keep finding the limits of where I can go. Basically, don't go past the buoys. I think I'm going to be able to jump up here. Oh, wait. I think I might be able to. I don't think you're supposed to. But I did.
Yeah. It's not a new beach, it's the same thing uh, that I've already been to, but uh, it was cool to see like a couple of new places. I'm definitely going to have to go and check out this farm that he's given me. I don't want to grow or to, to deal with the animals. I've realized that's like one of the things that I'm just not really wanting to do. It's not that it's bad or anything. I just, I can't be bothered to remember to feed them. So, uh, thankfully they don't like die of hunger. <clears throat> but I, I went like three or four days and I just completely forgot to feed walrus and sharktopus. And, uh, you know, their comfort level didn't go down. They, they stayed, stayed happy. So it, it doesn't seem to really matter in the long run. Uh, I just imagine what will happen is they'll probably stop producing stuff. But it, it wasn't like a huge deal. Do wish you can kill and eat the sand crabs, but you cannot. And it's a little weird to me. I feel like you should be able to. Uh, oh, we have a quest over here. Drac. Oh, apparently I have another quest that I didn't finish either. What kind of quest you got for me, buddy? Oh, uh, clear the mist hanging over Hazy Haven. Okay, well... It's just kind of more of the same, which is fine. We need to do some more quests. And the docks, I have two quests. Jade. It's funny that so many quests are now available because for a while I didn't have a quest of any sort. Uh -huh. Alright, Mayor, what would you like for me? Let's see, they're working on some, so add some spice. Set, set up a series of progressively harder tasks. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll take those. Oh, an apple. Oh yeah, I forgot. One of the things I'm trying to build uh, is like the seed table. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's a table to where you can start kind of making your own seeds, which I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but I'm going to I'm gonna do that. Okay, I already fulfilled a shipping contract. Okay, there is no shipping contract at this time. Oh wait, I have... Okay, well, they're gone now, but there was, uh... Some kind of fairy or something? At my... At my homestead? They're gone now, but, um... I'll have to go back and find them. Or, uh, well, at least now I know that there's potentially one kind of swinging around somewhere. Alright. What would you like for me to do? Oh, you're giving me job quests. This is very simple. Alright. Looks like we can do one at a time. Catch some fish in the river and ponds. Two freshwater fish. Yeah, we got time as well, so it, it's really going to work out. Oh, who are you, dude? Uh, Gallon. Wait, is this house new? This looks different. Could be because it's nighttime. No, nah, it's the same house. It's just his day. The house looks different during the day.
This fish should not be this hard to catch. So it actually reminds me of when I was a kid. When I was a kid, um, my granddad had like a ton of land and there was this area that he had where there was basically this just very random pond. It was not big um, from the top if you looked at it, but it was very deep and it kind of connected to like some kind of underwater area and it went on for, went on for like a long ways. But I would go there and fish quite a bit and we would catch all kinds of fish. You know, a lot of times it was uh, catfish, uh, just kind of seemed to be like one of the, the main things we would catch. But then after a while, we started catching crappie, and then we even caught bass. And it was super weird because we we're like, well, how how did they get in here? And that's when I learned that you know birds sometimes drop fish, <laughs> and they like you know make more fish. And it's just a thing that kind of happens, uh, which is cute, which is pretty cool, but. Now, do I have to turn this in by going to her? So, Hazy Haven. I'll check it out in the morning, but... We got one more at Hazy Haven. For Pink Flyer, still can't do that. Uh, no contracts to take right now. Uh, I don't know if I have to take the fish to her, but I will... this fish because just in case yeah I'm not a big fan of like what my house looks like but it's gonna take time for me to actually get it into uh, what I want it to be and now I have enough money to purchase my new upgrade as well for my backpack which gives me more room to hoard mm -hmm. Hello, it's about time we met, or that we met. They call me the Wisp Mother, and this island is under my care. I must admit, I haven't been doing such a great job. The sprites have had their way long enough. I've been watching you since you arrived, and I think you may be able to help. Come see me, and I'll tell you more about the island. There's more to Azoria than what you've seen. You'll need to use the Vortex spell to clear the way. Chapter 4, The Gate to Another Realm. Brought to you by Intellivision. Not really. Oh, man, I like so much smell, but it's like really only one. There's a couple of things that I want to tell you about the property. Before anything else, you're going to want to get some fresh air in there. Maybe one of your new spells will do the trick. And there's a barn and stuff like that. Yeah, not worried about that. Uh... I almost wonder if, like, I'm supposed to do something different. That's that's a magenta flower. That's one that I recently grew. In hindsight, I maybe should not have used that. Alright, we got that... That taken care of. Alright, I'm so confused. It's... Oh, so I have this house. Well, what am I going to do with two houses? That doesn't make any sense. Like, I, I started building a farm at the other place. Like, I'm not going to have multiple farms. It doesn't... It doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> like, what a weird... What a weird choice. Like, I have a barn. I can grow the other animals. I mean, because I have a coop in, in the other place. It's kind of a really... strange choice. Uh, I'm not really sure what they were thinking with it. 
But, uh, okay. Today is the 28th. It is the Petal Bloom Festival. Make sure there's no other quests. I think there's this one. Go meet the Wisp Mother. Uh, maybe I should go talk to her? I guess we'll go talk to her. We'll just go ahead and do this. Before we go to the fair. Well, that was not a very graceful excursion. I think it's funny that I've been finding queen bees like crazy lately. Uh, when I first started looking for them, I could never find them. And now that I, I'm not looking for them, they're there all the time. Careful to not run out of like the magic for this. I think that doesn't. Candelabra, Q. There's any like special fish up here. I'm not sure, I don't see any. That's kind of unfortunate. I would like to find some cool fish to link. You know I'll just have you know new fish. Oh, she's she's like a really tall lady. Okay, I guess romance is out of the option here. Because my dude is... Uh, I don't know, 2 feet to her 12? I think that's probably too big of a difference. We are very fortunate that the wild magic is strong enough to be useful, but not too strong as to be unmanageable. Oh, that's uh, our intro text. Thank you for finding me. It's been too long since I made my presence known. I am called the Wisp Mother, and I have been here a very long time. Most of the magic in Azoria comes either from me or my sprites. You've met Nebby, but there's also Boltel, Grell, and Flamo. They're lovely creatures who mean no harm. They don't see the consequences of their actions. Thank you for treating Nebby with such care. Can I give you a gift to help you with your travels on Azoria? Would you like a pair of wings? I'll need a couple of ingredients. Would you be able to collect what I need? Oh, absolutely. Uh, so here's a problem that I've run into with the game. Where some of the things that it will tell you to do, if you've already done it, it doesn't count. So, for example, craft and place a Lowlands Critter Conservatory. I've already done this. I have one. But because I have one, the game doesn't, like, realize I've done it. And so I have to go take it up and, you know, pick it up and then put it back down. Um, so that's kind of, like, weird. But it seems like a relatively easy quest to fulfill. Uh, it doesn't... I have everything I need for that. I just need to capture a bunch of butterflies. Now, occasionally you will get that flutter dust from just straight up catching a butterfly. So you don't have to necessarily grow it. But one of the other problems that falls into it is uh, because I may actually have flutter dust in my inventory. It most likely will not count. Uh, I missed... I missed that... thing. I want to go back and get it. But I'm gonna see, cause I will check, but I mean, even then, I still have to... Yeah, because it says I have to collect a Flutter Dust. And I think that's just kind of like an oversight. Um, 
Hmm, just gonna see if we can find some here. See, like, for example, I got bug juice. I don't have any butterflies. I don't want to keep running into this guy. I know there's, like, the girl, Peria, but I, I don't know where she is, and... I definitely don't see her anywhere, so I'm thinking she's just somebody that I'll eventually find. I know butterflies tend to be in town. Alright, go to town hall. There's our first butterfly. There's our second butterfly. We just need one more if all goes well. They'll all drop the stuff for me. That means it probably won't happen, but it's okay. Butterflies aren't too difficult to catch. I kind of want to catch my final butterfly before I go and go into the town hall and, you know, start whatever might happen with that. As long as I do it before it gets too late, I think it shouldn't be a problem. I don't have a quest to turn it anyway, so... Alright, now we're, we're friends, we're buddies. Uh, he also has this dispatch 50 jumbles in the salt, salt water mines. That's actually pretty easy. I feel like they should have given me these quests, like these job quests, should have been coming earlier. I'm not sure why they waited until I kind of got some other things done because I, I spent so much time in the mines. It would have been nice to actually have those quests. Alright, no butterflies. I know people made a big deal about how in Baldur's Gate 3, like, everybody was thirsty and they just wanted to sleep with you. It seems like the same thing is happening here. Apparently, I'm, like, the most attractive dude uh, because all the dudes totally want to be in a relationship, but my character's not gay, so it's really weird. And I'm hoping that eventually, um, like, Peria um, will show up or, you know, something happens to where I can actually start... Potentially talking to the ladies and all stuff and apparently you can only have one Active job quest at a time. I probably should have paid attention to that I don't really want to talk to Argyle because he wants to give me a quest uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it because I don't want to be in a relationship with him So I guess the whole point of the Petal Bloom Festival is just a lot of people go and hang out at Mayor Merritt's. I mean, I don't... I don't really get that, but okay. Oh. Okay, let's go find... Nessa.
It does look like I have a massive amount of quests opening up, though. Yeah, that's super weird. That you can only have one quest at a time. A, an open job quest. Seems kind of backwards. Alright, favorite swimming hole. What kind of swimming hole is it? I know that she wants... Okay, good, it did actually kept my lowland critter, critter conservancy go good, so I don't have to worry about figuring it out. Uh, a moon moth. Which happens at night. I'm not worried about trying to catch any fish right now. I just thought there would be something... Yeah, see, it's like, don't forget to visit the town hall for the Petal Bloom Festival. I went there. Like, nothing happened. Okay, there we go. Please be the last one I need. I wish there were things I could kind of put out uh, that would... I guess increase the likelihood of I guess getting what I what I need. Or, you know, just having the ability to catch like more more butterflies, I guess. Oh, it looks like I gotta grow new stuff. All oh, these things are dead. I do like that I'm getting some stuff for it. That's nice. Uh, it looks like some just like my farm. All the work that I've done to really kind of clean it up and make it nice uh, seems to have gone poorly. Now we're getting blueberries, which are blue, which you know makes sense. First day of summer. Oh, and some dandelion greens. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back and clean up all of this uh, that I've been working on. All right, what do we got? Flutter dust. There's one flutter dust. All right, this is all the flutter dust. We have everything we need. But it definitely looks like I'm gonna have to come through and start really kind of talking to everybody. I am gonna have to go and buy some crops. I need to go and do some different things. Uh, but this is gonna be like the wrap up. This is the end of the video for today. This is like whatever number in my series. Uh, but you know, I now probably. I was going to do live stuff and I haven't done any of that, but I'm probably going to have just videos will happen periodically where it's more of just probably wrapping up the month to kind of talk about what I did in that month and kind of what's going on and what's changed and, and things like that. Um, okay, that guy just, she has another crazy quest for that. Deliver flutter dust to the wisp mother. Here is your three flutter dust. Now give me some wings. I now have wings. Cool. All right. Now my magic is strong to let you fly, but it's let you jump much higher. Cool. All right. There's a fey gate. That seems pretty cool. 
Um, would you be able to locate the Feygate and see if it still has some magic? It will be glowing if it does. Find a mysterious portal. Alright. Oh, you can jump much higher. That's what she said. And uh, she's full of crap. I can't jump much higher. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that is... I mean, she gave me the ability to double jump. She did not give me the ability to jump much higher. Um... Wisp Mother, I am very disappointed in, in you right now. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go into town. I'm going to buy my upgrade for my, my backpack, which I think is the final upgrade I can get for my backpack. Uh, and then that is, that's, that's going to be that. My cat is, uh, deciding that it's, um, it's time to do stuff with her or something, I guess. I did tell her I was going to kind of take the day off, so she's probably like, what are you doing? And she's not happy about it. So, all right, well, going to buy this. I have more inventory space. Um, let me go back to my... My little area here. Empty out my inventory. Save it and then call it good. I still haven't grown any purple. Or, you know, I still have not grown any flowers that I'm supposed to grow. I don't know that. I would almost wonder if I like took it out if it would then pop up. I I I really don't know. Um, because, you know, it's it's an alternating pattern, like, I've got white, red, white, red, white, red, white, 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 red, white. I, I just, I don't, I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out eventually, but until I figure it out, I'm just going to be clueless about it. Uh, but saving it, and yeah, so overall, it's been like a good experience so far. It's, I'm really enjoying it. We're now in summer. Uh, next time I do a video, you'll see what plants I decided to grow and what's going to happen next. I don't know, but we'll see. As always, the link will be in the description, and thank you for stopping by.